Jeff for Orlando to compete and have a chance to win and continue this series. What are the keys? Vucevic has got to be great. They've got to make upwards of 23s, and then they've got to get in front of Antetokounmpo and not let him get to the rim easily. Well, he didn't get there easily that time. Got too far underneath the backboard as Fultz springs it up the other way. And remember, in game four, they were only down three going into the fourth and then just got overwhelmed down the stretch. Vucevic, who's averaging just under 30 a game in this, and the Magic get on the board first. Meanwhile, for Milwaukee, what has been the key for them after that opening loss as Lopez gets it down low and draws the foul and one? What's been the same Chris Middleton? Middleton, the second leading scorer and the second all star in this Milwaukee Bucks team. This is his first shot. Vucevic was also averaging 10 boards a game in this series, grabs that. Fournier stripped by Matthews. Matthews has played some terrific defense on full front. Terrific right to left crossover. Covers so much ground. Butchevich from outside comes up short. And the Magic have done a good job against Middleton. He's so very important to their championship hopes. They've trapped him a lot as Vucevic throws it out of bounds, trying to take City. And I think both coaches believe in their team's approach as Innes throws up a, a runner. But I. Everybody on the Bucks on the floor touched it in this possession. Middleton can't finish. Matthews tries to keep it alive. Middleton's got to look at the rim on that initial drive, though. Bad pass that time by Ennis. Three and five in the bubble. And then, again, shocked everybody with that game one victory. Vucevic was brilliant that night. Flips it up and in. That's a difficult shot. And he gets it to go slob because <laughs> they stink. <laughs> I, I don't suppose you're going to give us any specifics. <laughs> they know who they are. <laughs> Here comes Ross. Ross steps back, three-pointer. Vucevic battling for the rebound, taken away. Bumping Augustine every step of the way. Vucevic and Lopez. Vucevic now two of them. present day management as we see John Hammond there. Vucevic comes up short. Hammond was the of the game. But he'll admit, you, you, you never know that a player is going to turn into somebody this special. But you just try and scout and guess the potential. And boy, did, did he hit a home run. Fournier layup shot is good. The other thing he said when he was at that practice, and again, first time he's seeing Santana Group, he said his whole family was at practice. The gym was their home. And that's what struck him, how close they were, the family, and always wanted to be together. His mother, his father, his brothers. As Vucevic misfires in the shooting, they're now at third. Great split of the pick and roll. For the Magic to have a chance to make a, a move in the offseason, it's going to have to become at the offensive end where they improve. That was some pass by Ennis. Ennis goes up top, Vucevic to DJ Augustine. Augustine finds Vucevic, who flips it up, shot short, rebound taken by Middleton. And for them to have a chance. Vucevic steps into a three. That's good. And he has found a really nice place here in Orlando. Raves about Steve Clifford and the patience he showed him. Nice feet inside, Fournier to Vucevic. Middleton backed in. Under three to play. Bucks have been up by double figures much of this first half, but the Magic keep fighting back. Vucevic, though, comes up short that time. And make him a high turnover guy. He also has a 20-point half. Fournier drives and can't finish. Vucevic draws the foul on the final. Got the offensive rebound. Lead of the game thus far. Vucevic. Difficult, because normally at this time you say, okay, what do they have to do to get back in the game? Uh, they just have to, you know, try and, and deal with these storms that you get with, with the Milwaukee Bucks that all of a sudden you think you're in it. Because not only do they have to play well, they have to hope that Milwaukee doesn't play well. Because if both teams play well, then Milwaukee is much better. The Milwaukee Bucks. been a really good workman-like performance by Milwaukee. 
they clearly know they're the better dope. You could be home literally <laughs> in 45 minutes after the game. Right, exactly. Let's check in with Malika. Well, Mike, you mentioned wanting to go home, and I spoke to Markel Fultz the other day. It's it's a challenge, and everybody handles it differently. Tedekumpo turnaround shot way off. Vucevic looking to get in position. Fultz. Yet another. Fournier just one of six. It has been a rough series for Fournier. But you do have to give a lot of that credit to Wes Matthews. That time, Fournier got a little bit of room to shoot. Bledsoe winds up that three, won't go. Vucevic tips it. Fournier's hit a couple of shots here in the third. Can't they get that one to go? All these shot pass decisions, incredibly interesting. Bledsoe misses well. Last year in the conference finals, Toronto had an excellent game plan defensively. At times they frustrated, and it certainly helped that they had Kawhi Leonard. But uh, I'm sure as Vucevic puts that in, as both free throws there as we check in with Malika. Well, back in the Milwaukee Bucks practice facility in Milwaukee, there is an enormous Bucks logo on the wall, Mike. The coaching staff is trying to get him to have a little bit more of optimal arc. Well, he just picked up his fourth foul, so he sits on the roll. L late rotation, and Ilyasova got a layup. Fultz, nice slip pass inside, but Vucevic, his shooting struggles continue in players. Middleton, in and out. Vucevic, the rebound. Coming up on two minutes remaining here in this third quarter. Magic hoping to extend their season. Uh, they're in a big hole right now against the Milwaukee Bucks team. through the first four games. Middleton gets in the lane, that one in and out. Ross trying to find an opening, runs into to Kim Birch. Corner three. Awandu with a three-pointer. And corral him a little bit, not a little bit better, a lot better than that. Good play by Hill. Vucevic tries a three. That's good. Vucevic from downtown and a 20 will bring it up. Second half, the Magic 8 for 14 from downtown after really struggling in the first half. Ross shooting over Ilya Silva and it's good. Here it's Ross from that. Actually, they, he was about to check back in, but he's not out there. Fournier for three. That's good. Fournier knocks it down in the series 58%. You said that with such disdain. It, it, because I can't believe you as announcers don't understand that it's true. As Vucevic knocks in another three. I bet you if you go back and we might. <laughs> Marvin Williams, not that time. Tedekumpo just came in trying to get the rebound. Ennis did a good job holding him off. Nine point game with just over four and a half to play. Orlando facing elimination right now. Vucevic, Ennis gathers, fires, and does not hit. Matthews the rebound. Three games to two. Our coverage tips up with the jump at noon Eastern. Can't wait for that Boston series. Nice pass inside. Hill missing a number of key players. They were overmatched even with the full roster as Marvin Williams comes up short. But Orlando fought gamely here. They could have mailed it in after they fell behind by 21 in the third quarter. Battled back. Right now being put on by the Bucks. Fournier had a rough start, had a rough series, but had some big shots. Vucevic just couldn't get anything consistent.